you saw the title of this video and you felt that's how her family drinks fresh juice every single day. That won't concern you, okay? Believe at your own peril. I neither confirm nor deny that, okay? <laughs> because there's a reason why Cora is always asking for Ribena in my videos. There's a reason why it's Ribena that I always asking for and not fresh juice, okay? I'm going to be showing you guys how I prep my vegetables, my fruits and vegetables for me to be giving my family fresh, healthy smoothies and juices um you know throughout this period basically how i prep fruits in bulk so that i can give my family fresh juice without having to go to the market and i think it's going to be very helpful in this roro season because you know we really cannot go out so this is the way to prep your um, fruits and veggies so that you can have them last longer and you can give your family optimal nutrition okay yeah so basically a lot of markets are being closed around nigeria but i'm sure some a few might be open or they might have this when they might open market so whenever they open market quickly rush and go and get your fruits and veggies and then you can store them the way i'm going to show you guys in this video okay and we can't emphasize enough the benefit of hypernutrition <laughs> the benefit of you know eating healthy foods eating healthy meals taking your supplements you know in this period like we need our immunity to be up there okay we need our immunity to be really up there don't say uh, uh, that's not the kill black man that's the kill black man no that's the kill black man okay so yeah that's the kill black man except black man go chop enough veggies and fruits to keep them immune so anyway i filmed the bulk of this video yesterday so i'm going to be showing you how i did most of the fruit stuff yesterday night and then today i did the veggie stuff which is what you're seeing behind me so yeah i went to the market i got lots of fruit and veggies so my whole family cannot finish this in two or three days like it's not possible anyway so first of all in my head i know the kind of juice i want to make i'm not really a a juicing specialist the people that have special recipe for pineapple juice apple juice this one juice you know belly blast uh, whatever all those kind of juice uh -uh, i don't i just want fruits mixed together so basically it's not even i won't even call this juicing recipes actually smoothie recipes but for my kids sometimes i have to you know basically juice it i just remove the fiber from the juice so that they can drink it because once it has fiber cora will now start complaining about the texture eva eva will drink but she won't drink that much cora will complain about the texture tire so i just try to remove the fiber and give them the plain juice which is pretty much sugar but whatever anyway i give them the plain juice to drink it's a better alternative to their you know all those their packed juices and all that it's a better alternative it's just that sometimes laziness and tiredness and you know we just don't make it every single day anyway so first thing i'm going to do now is to wash and cut all my fruits and veggies okay all of it so i'm just going to quickly do that and then i'll be right back okay So the next stage is going to be well not the next stage but it's something that Marachi is going to be doing now and that is squeezing the oranges and uh, lemon so this is Amarachi here say hi, hi. <laughs> this is the part I don't like so I'm supposed to leave it for Amarachi to do I really hate I hate squeezing oranges and lemons see you guys these lemons in the market for 1,000 four lemons as in one two three four one thousand although I bought this whole I bought this ones for 2000. Yeah, I bought them for 2000. This is one kilo. Yeah, one kilo, 2000. But another place I went to, in fact, 
many places I went to, I just kept asking because I was really curious to see if this woman cheated me. Many places I went to, four, four pieces like this, one, two, three, four, one thousand naira. I told them that you know what, I'm not going to die if I don't take lemon. But thank God I got this one shaft. So anyway, I might just going to be doing that now. This is what she's going to use. So this is what she's going to use to squeeze all the um, lemons and oranges. And then she'll just pour it into a container and keep her aside while we continue. While I continue with the other stuff, I want to cut apples and mangoes now. Okay? Yeah. So where's your station? You're going to be stationed there. Because I don't want the interruption of this thing. Eva, what no, is it? We have fruits. Hmm? We have fruits. No, okay. You don't want it. We have fruits. What do you want? Apple. Apple. You want apple? Apple, there's apple there. There's chili I'm, apple. I'm going to peel one apple for them. <laughs> and me, and me. So she take this one. <laughs> she don't want it. Okay, she just remove it, but you want your plate. Oh. to blend and juice this ginger because i like adding ginger to my juices so we're going to juice this ginger and keep in a container for later so that's what amara is doing now she's blending the ginger and later we're going to sieve out the chaff and keep the juice okay so continue so this is the zobo leaf i used to make my zobo i think this is the ripe one or something i think the unripe one is green but yeah that's zobo leaf so i'll just rinse it now put it inside my boiling water and then add ginger and yeah we're good to go all right 
right so we are done cutting i done washing and cutting this is mango watermelon pineapple apple orange lemon ginger seedless grapes okay so guys whenever i want to blend my fruits i usually add bananas fresh because if you store bananas they get mashed up and look somehow they even change color and start looking somehow so i usually don't save bananas in the freezer i usually buy them fresh and then add to my juice but if i'm not able to buy bananas for any reason i'm going to skip it it's really not necessary because the juice is already very sweet on its own and bananas are, can be easily eaten on their own so my children love to eat bananas on their own so i don't really, i don't really need to blend it for them to eat it okay so yeah um now that i have all my fruits here I'm going to be using these Ziploc bags. These are sandwich bags. So I think it's supposed to be 50 in here, but I've used a lot of it. So I think it's just maybe less than 10 that is here right now. So I'm going to be using these bags to pack the fruits differently. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do now. So um, yeah. So guys, just ignore my sweating. The reason why I'm sweating this way is because the uh, the zogo is cooking behind here so it's making the kitchen really hot and i'm exhausted so so in here i'm just going to put some watermelon open other fruits i usually put a lot of watermelon because watermelon are basically big for nothing so once you blend it it actually turns to water so i put a lot of watermelon which we serve as my water and then i put just a little mango so a little mango, so this pineapple, then some apples, okay, and then some grapes. So this is basically one pouch. I'm just going to seal it. Okay, so after I'm done sealing it, I usually put it inside the freeze, inside the container, then put it inside the freezer. I usually put it down down at the bottom of my freezer so I can stay frozen for a very long time. So whenever I want to blend, I just bring out one like this pour it into my blender and blend it frozen so when you blend it frozen it actually blends way better way smoother and sweeter because it's cold actually it's just cold not like it's sweeter it's just that it's cold so whatever anyway i'm tired <laughs> all right so guys my zobo is done i'm just going to put it off now and turn it yeah so i'm going to put it off this kitchen smells air Ooh. as if i should just dive into the pot no not really actually but yeah so i'm just going to leave it like this i've turned off the fire then i'm going to sieve it later on all right so guys i'm done packing the fruits in the in the pouches or whatever in the ziploc bags so yeah so to seal them let me show you guys a trick i learned on five minutes five minutes craft i think it's five minutes craft one of those kind of channels or whatever mm -hmm. how to basically vacuum seal um ziploc bags yeah so you just get a bowl of water let me just show you guys yeah so you get a bowl of water and then put this into the bowl of water so the water kind of pushes out all the air and then you seal it uh, this thing don't disgrace me i've been doing it before yeah so it's basically vacuum sealed <laughs> seal it to the end not the end seal it till you get to then leave a space so there's a space here so that the air can come out so i'll just dip it into the water and then it pushes out all the air and then i seal and that's it so next i'm going to put them into this container level okay perfect okay so guys i'm feeling so proud of myself okay so guys i have 11 pouches here so that's for 11 days or not 11 consecutive days most of i make them maybe once in two days or once in three days but yeah 11 pouches here i still have my the big one that i'm going to make for the family 
tomorrow then i also have my zobo i'll show you guys so i also have my zobo here if you watched my last video you see where i used zobo as my base as the base for my smoothie so I, that's why i have zobo so i either drink it like that or i add it to my smoothie when i'm making it okay yeah so then this is um lemon this is all that lemon so this is 2000 naira lemon <coughs> Mm, God is watching them. So this ginger, I can also use it to do ginger tea. I can use it just I can drink it alone. I can add it to my green tea. Whatever, anything you can use it for. It's just very versatile. I just store it in the fridge. I store it in the fridge most times. But if it's too much like this, I put it inside the freezer and just take a little and store it in the fridge. Then this is the remaining orange juice. So I'm also going to transfer this into a bottle. I try to store it like this. I'm going to store it in, in a bottle in the freezer. So yeah, that's it for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you guys how I make my veggie smoothie. Yeah, so I'm already tired today. I beg if I do this one, I'm going to faint. So see you guys tomorrow. I've already packed my veggies. These are my lettuces. I washed, I overwashed these lettuce. Hey, God. I washed these lettuce like five times. <laughs> I have trust issues when it comes to vegetables, especially leafy green vegetables like this. Because I've, I've seen a lot of rubbish in some of them. Some of them you see maggots, you see worms, you see insects, you see all kinds of things, mainly peas, centipede, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, I washed it several times. And then the last stage of washing, I washed it with vinegar, white vinegar, like I showed you guys yesterday. So I washed them and packed them in this ziplock bag so this one i just have three ziplock bags here which i'm going to be dividing into seven so basically one bag in two days or you know two or three days so yeah then for my veggies i've already washed and cut them so let me just show you guys one of these so you see what is in here okay so this is one plate this is basically how all the plates are so what i have here is just some cucumber carrots half an apple and a chunk of coconut then i'm also going to be adding red cabbage and normal is it green or white cabbage i had those ones in the fridge i'm not going to prep them because they really don't spoil and i can just be you know plucking them from the you know from the bowl so the fruits are already in the freezer they're already frozen so i'm good to go on that so yeah that's it though that's it this was a two-day walk but not today basically it's a few hours it's just that i started late yesterday and i had to complete everything today so yeah that's it that's what i'm doing to fortify my family <laughs> and to boost their immunity this period we also of course we also have multivitamins that we're taking basically just a bunch of stuff you know at the end of the day it's god that protects okay we're going to do our own part but we also have to you know recognize the part of god in protecting our families if you like give them fresh grass go to the farm and be giving them fresh grass every day herbs or roots or uh, fruits vegetables give them every day if they're going to catch it they're going to catch it so you just do your part of course but always remember the part of prayer and you know pray over your family you know declare god's word over them it doesn't matter how many cases you hear around you it's not going to come into your household okay that's what i keep saying to myself if you like let the whole world burn down my house is going to keep standing that's just the truth so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please eh don't just go like that just give this video a thumbs up just thumbs up just like that okay and if you're not yet subscribed me i can't even i don't even say to you yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys